In the last video, we did parts A and B of this example, so now we're going to finish it out. Part C says to do F composed of F. So for part C, we're going to do F of F of X. So again, we're going to work our way from the inside out. The F function is X plus 1. So now working our way to the outside, this notation says to evaluate the f function for the new variable of x plus 1. All right, the f function says take the variable and add 1. So take the variable and add 1. But our variable would be x plus 1. When we simplify, x plus 1 plus 1 would be x plus 2. So this is our composite function. Now for the domain. x plus 2 is a polynomial function. So our domain would be all real numbers. Don't forget to double check the inside. The inside function here is also a polynomial function. So its domain would be all real numbers also. So there are actually no problems in this domain at all. Now for the last one, Part D. Part D is asking us to do the G composed of G, or the G of G of X. So the G of G of X. Now I moved that down. I can move it back up again real quick so we can see what the g function is. Remember, the g function is x squared plus 4. So now I'm going to move it down so we have room to work. So this tells us we're going to evaluate the g function at this new variable. Well, the g function said take the variable and square it and then add 4. But we're going to be using x squared plus 4 for our variable. So now it's just a matter of cleaning it up, simplifying it. Again, what does it mean to square something? It means that we write it out twice, multiply it to itself, however you want to think about that. If you don't do that, you will lose the middle term. So now we can distribute and simplify. So this would be x to the fourth. Uh, we'd have 4x squared plus 4x squared would be plus 8x squared, and then 4 times 4 would be plus 16 plus 4. So our final answer here would be x to the fourth plus 8x squared plus 20. There's our composition function. Now for the domain. This composition function is a polynomial. So our domain would be all real numbers. But don't forget to check the inside function. Again, here our inside function is a polynomial, so our domain would be all real numbers.